As we mentioned last night, Bob Woodruff, himself well recovered from a traumatic brain injury in Iraq, will be reporting regularly on some of those similarly injured. Tonight, his first report. Marine Corporal Jeff Lande, like Bob, was injured by a roadside bomb. And like Bob, much of his skull had to be temporarily removed to relieve brain pressure. Jeff has suffered from a lack of therapy, but he is blessed with a real fighter by his side. Here's Bob Woodruff with our closer look. Three, two. Corporal Jeff Lande still has all the tenacity and grit befitting a United States Marine. Eight. His 160-pound frame displays the evidence of a turbulent tour of duty in Iraq. There's one here, one here, there's seven right here. Lande was just 19 years old when his regiment shipped out early last year. A powerful IED explosion last May damaged his liver, kidney, and spleen. It broke his jaw and crushed his skull. The shattered bone penetrated the left side of his brain. We were going home. And when we go left, all I remember is some in the ground. And after that, I don't remember anything. The blast killed the gunner. Three others were seriously wounded. Lande, barely alive, somehow summoned the strength to drive the vehicle out of harm's way. They all thought well, that was Jeff's last act, was to get that truck back to safety to get his comrades out. But military doctors were able to keep Lande alive by removing a large section of his skull to relieve the swelling in his brain. To see it in person was, was devastating. It was very unsettling. Yeah, that's your shunt. When I first met Jeff and his mother, Michelle, at Bethesda Naval Hospital last fall, surgeons there had just repaired his skull with an implant. Jeff could barely speak. Has your pain gone, gone away since this went on? I can't say it. He's asking if it hurts. Does it hurt? I know, but okay. I can't say it. I mean, this. It's okay, but I can't do it. A short while later, Jeff returned home to California with his family, where he's now working to rebuild his life. I feel very good. I, the talking thing, that, that's not fun, but everything else, I feel good. Michelle Lande had to leave her job to help Jeff recover and to advocate for his care. Rehabilitation in the first year after brain injury is crucial, but medical complications and disputes with the VA have left Jeff without any therapy in the last six months. He was supposed to be in therapy by December, but it didn't happen. I'm just trying to help, you know, keep him going. But we've we've been very frustrated trying to get him into rehab. Dear Jeff, thank you for fighting for our country. Still, the land days are beginning to see glimmers of hope. Cards and letters from local school kids not only bolster their spirits, but also help Jeff recover some of his language. I hope that... Oh, oh. You, uh, kit? Get better. <laughs> I am totally stunned that he's able to function like he is, considering the devastating brain injury that he had. That's amazing. I don't remember a lot of things, but... Have you, but is it amazing that you are still here? That yeah. you're alive at all? With all the things that I've done, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Jeff Lande dreams of once again donning the dress blues of the Marine Corps. But even if he never does, there is no denying that in this Marine, there is plenty of fight left. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, New York. And if you are interested in helping veterans with brain injuries or other serious conditions, we've compiled a list of organizations that do help at our website, abcnews.com.